Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, uh, the Swatch Group is becoming known for stealing the headlines uh, last year. It was with the release of the Moon Swatch. This year it's a proper Speedmaster named the Super Racing first time piece in the world to include the new Spyrate system, Omega's fine-tuned balance spring mechanism. So very interesting. Uh, the promise is to be able to have an accuracy down to 0 plus 2 seconds per day, which halves the superlative accuracy of Rolex, minus 2 plus 2. Uh, you still have the coaxial uh, system rolled out many years ago, uh, which tended, I found, to run uh, a bit fast. Uh, accuracy was 0 plus 5, which is very good already. Uh, and has many other advantages, uh, of course, in terms of the, the service intervals. But there we go. The Spirit, great to see a new technology ro rolling out. And they start with a uh, watch called uh, the Super Racing. You know, the racing, it's uh, the one which, you know, brings the Speedmaster back to the, the track rather than the, than the stars. And this one here with a very good looking yellow accents always works well uh, with uh, black uh, and steel, you have uh, enamel on the ceramic uh, bezel, a honeycomb dial uh, as well, and a stylish exterior pays tribute to the 10th anniversary of the Seamaster Aquaterra, over 15,000 gas launched in 2013. So pretty cool uh, presentation. Now, I'm guessing they're rolling it out with this model because it's going to be a pretty uh, niche appeal due to its size. 44.25 millimeter, almost 15 millimeter thick. Uh, so that's going to limit it to, I'm thinking, the German, the Dutch market and uh, also the US market. Uh, less so for the average wrist size and certainly uh, less so for the Asian market. Probably. It's uh, the idea is to uh, work out any possible kink on a low volume uh, production watch at first, see what is the acceptance of the technology, and then surely roll it out to the whole model line. So very exciting. Less exciting was the reaction of a Florida watch dealer that I saw this morning on YouTube complaining that uh, this system that requires apparently a specific key for the watchmaker to be uh, adjusted locks you down quite literally to servicing your watch with only omega and i would reply to that that is it a really a good reason for watch brands not to bring in new technology i think it would be a bit silly also omega service has always been excellent at least here in hong kong you can follow in real time the progress it tends to be very quick and if you have a neo vintage watch even 20 years old they can usually source the original dial and hands if you want it completely refreshed and i've only had good experiences so far and you know keeping that link with the the brand also gives you some um, some favors with the brand you get invited to uh, see novelties get first dips when a uh, new watch comes out the argument of uh, that dealer is that uh, these new technologies can't be serviced independently and who knows if that uh, the key needed to adjust the spirit system won't be made available to independent uh, watchmakers won't be reverse engineered uh, by someone uh, to make it available to, to those uh, watchmakers who, after all, have had to buy all the toolings for many different brands and uh, go through training to be able to uh, service uh, many brands. So again, I don't think it's a great argument. At the end of the day, if you want uh, something easy to service, you can always buy a watch running uh, a Celita or an ETA, for example, an older Omega model. If you want the latest and greatest, I think it's uh, it's a brand's prerogative uh, to, to bring in new technology and they should bring new technology. And um, you don't have to go on the cheap for, for servicing them. And there are many other 
watches that need to go back to um, to the to the brand to be serviced and uh, for the brand of course it's a constant stream of uh, revenue until the uh, for the life of uh, the watch or its owner and it is undeniable that certain brands have and are still abusing uh, their, their customers with really high service costs and want to milk as much as they can from every watch sold to their customers. So you got to do your homework, know what you're in for. And yes, if there is an independent service uh, available that can do the job as good, sometimes better, you should uh, look into, into that. But there are many uh, brands, many models that need to go back to the original maker of the of the watch nothing wrong with that but let me know in the comments what you think uh, about uh, this argument from that uh, well-known on youtube uh, florida dealer who's you know making a great videos and i understand his uh, his argument but i think it's a bit too quickly uh, spoken we have to see a bit how this technology is going to be rolled out will it work and uh, yeah, how the service will be uh, arranged. I'm guessing none of these watches will need to be serviced for the next 10 years. Uh, so let me know what you think about the, the watch and most importantly about this uh, new technology. Of course, all we know for now is just uh, in prints. We have to see it in the metal. Thank you for watching, guys. Speak to you in the next one. And uh, well done, Omega, for trying something new, something really interesting that... Uh, watch lovers do care about. I love uh, to have an accurate timepiece. Bye-bye, guys.